Hi guys, welcome to Simproved for speaking here and welcome back to another Sims 4 Speed build. Today we are going to build a beach restaurant. It's going to be colorful, very hippie. It's going to be lots and lots of fun. Kind of smashing the tropical with the hippie boho chic together. And yeah, if you want to see how I did build this, then stay tuned and let's get started. So I started on the lot that's called Pure Perfection in Sulani, the new expansion pack uh, of The Sims 4 World from Island Living and I knew right away that I wanted to have two different kind of peers with two levels. Since we can do this now, we can move up foundations and all that stuff, I thought it would be cool to have like the eating tables outside directly on the dock or at the pier of this or deck i don't know uh, of this restaurant and also i wanted to experiment with roof waterfalls i'm going to call them because i'm going to put some roofing on the lower deck and i'm of course going to put some roofing on the house and the upper deck so to, so to speak and i wanted to see how the waterfall cascading roofs are looking without making it look too ridiculous but also very interesting and not that you know boring and yeah i think i made it look very interesting but also very fun very quirky there's going to be lots and lots of colors i finally get to use my favorite stuff by called movie hangout stuff because it has these really funky colors it's not for everybody but i thought this would be like a restaurant slash bar maybe that I would love to visit during a vacation. Keep in mind that I used to live in Spain, in the south of Spain, so we have lots of bars, beach bars and beach restaurants there as well. And my favorite were always these that are super colorful with different, you know, driftwood in pink and like aqua and teal colors and bright yellows and stuff like this. It kind of looked very self-made and like self-constructed. And I always loved these kinds of very, uh, maybe a little bit shabby chic, you know, beach bars. And I thought I wanted to have the restaurant looking like this as well, because I've already done the beach bar and I thought a restaurant would be cool as well. You know, you could have seafood, but not upper class dining. It's just, you know, your casual everywhere, everyday wear. And you know, you can sit there with a bikini top and maybe some pants and stuff like this. I just thought it would be like really, really fun. And I also want the this house or like the whole restaurant to look kind of fun so we go here you can see that I'm going to stack the lots of the roofs and um, because I think that looks really really cool in Solani so I use the normal shaped I don't know what it's called in English normal roofs that is like closed off and then I will stack some gabled roofs in there as well to give this Solani tropical kind of look and I thought this is kind of interesting, kind of reminds me a little bit, it's a little bit cartoony because the proportions are way out of, you know, everything. But I think it suits the whole Sims 4 style, which is also a tiny bit, you know, cartoony, you know, the Sims 4 style just in general, or just the Sims style in general is like kind of a little bit over the top in every kind of way. It's not that so realistic. So I thought this would be so much fun to visit for each and every one of you. And uh, there's like so much tiny little stuff to explore as well. And I was just thinking this would be so, so much fun. Here we go with the second tier of roofs, which is under a lower deck. I didn't know where to put it. And then I thought, hey, we have this huge veranda kind of thing. Why not put something in front? And there we have the cascading roofs then. And I think it looks super interesting. I wasn't sure how many roofs I'm going to stack over one another here, just to make it look, you know, kind of interesting from the side, you know, having this cascading roofs. But I think I could manage it. I think it looks really, really interesting. And I also think, you know, it's like the selling point of roofing here for me. If I would have seen this on like somebody else's build, I was like, ooh, this is so cool. I think I've already seen some people to experiment with a different 
you know foundation heights especially since you have more piers more layers of piers in the water sometimes and i thought this looks kind of really interesting also reminds me a little bit of asian architecture because i kind of overdid it with the gabled roofs here but <laughs> who cares it's it's solani it's the sims 4 yeah i just wanted to go crazy and also i kind of made this whole thing up like i hadn't i didn't have any reference here this time I just went you know just like oh, okay kind of add something here gonna add something here the coloring was really hard though because I wanted it to look really you know um, self built maybe over the years but also traditional and then I also wanted to have hippie so I went with colors and later on I found these two wallpapers that are also from the Island Living expansion pack and one has like this orange base and I was like oh the complementary color of orange is blue so I get this teal aqua I don't know colored wallpaper as a contrast and then it was immediately so easy for me to say okay we go with blue here like blue is going to be the main color and I think it's a nice contrast because of the roofing that's kind of a little bit in the orangey brown and the orangey wallpaper so uh, yeah I think it looks really really cool and kind of quirky and yeah I hope you like it too I used lots of the jungle adventure pack stuff here as well because they have this kind of also tropical look you know especially the windows and doors and they come in this teal aqua color as well so i could use a lot of these objects from this pack as well so if you are having troubles like not knowing which kind of pack goes well with other packs for builders i would say if you have the island living pack please get the jungle adventure pack because they both you know just for building sakes kind of have the same ish style that goes well together for these quirkle kind of uh, like latin american and you know beachy kind of tropical maybe builds so i can see these two going really well together and also the color theme is kind of very similar so you don't have the whole oh my god i don't know what kind of color i'm going to use again because of all the different color swatches in the game and here i realized something that is really really cool the freezes from the island living pack plus the spandrels from strangerville look super cool they look amazing and it's such a nice little detail to have that i will put this here everywhere you can see it on the deck and you can see it in the front area of the house where there's like this little balcony kind of deck thing as well and i thought this is such a cool detail i need this this is so cool so if you haven't figured it out but like spandrels and the freezes sometimes look really cool you have to have the second biggest wall height though to even use freezes i think uh, and yeah just look at it. it looks so much more detailed it's a tiny little detail but for me you know the details counts and I'm really happy that I found this kind of combination also if you use the redder the redder the red <laughs> the red versions of the Solani spandrels from the island livings no not spandrels the um, freezes and the spandrels from Strangerville kind of has also like a Chinese look if you combine these two which I love it looks so cool I'm going to use this a lot of times now and also it made me think about maybe building a Chinese palace or let's just call it an Asian palace because we don't have like specifically Chinese stuff and you know it's kind of always kind of very broad objects uh, and style that we have in The Sims 4. But yeah, that video is like a huge build that I'm going to do with these spandles alone. It's just amazing. Here we are with the deck kind of thing. You can see that I popped up the information box so I know what kind of uh, objects I have to put in there. So it is a working restaurant. Uh, keep in mind that uh, if you want to have this as a restaurant, you of course need the Dine Out Gameplay Pack. And since my boyfriend got the premiere, what is it called? Origin Premiere Access or something. It's included in that. So if you have the Origin Access thing, I'm not sure what it's called. You get The Sims 4, you get Dine Out, and you get uh, Kids Accessory Pack, the Kid Room Accessory Pack, Stuff Pack. Yeah, that's what they're called. <laughs> So I think lot of, lots of people have this kind of dine-out pack, I'm not sure. Also lots of you have asked for a restaurant, so here we go. 
and you can already see me splashing it up with blues again so we have the round tables from backyard stuff we have the camping tables from city living and we have some base game tables on the deck but the movie hangout chairs there as well and from the kids a stuff pack kids room stuff pack the lampions no what is called this these paper lanterns and this really colorful um yeah you know kind of looks hawaiian and very colorful so yeah these are basically the packs that i'm going to use here a lot jungle adventure movie hangout stuff kids room accessory stuff backyard stuff and island no city living and island living of course so yeah this is basically a accumulation of all these packs if you don't have any of these packs or just you know one or two just feel free to download this and check it out and test uh, what gets you know reset and all that kind of stuff you know that you can still download this and put it into your game but the game will occasionally delete stuff or it just change it and switch it to some objects that are similar but you know from packs that you have or just the base game here we are on decorating the tables and i put in these vases that came with the island living pack that are looking like colorful shells and these are really cool in the middle because i could put the tea light in there as well is it called a tea light you know like these little candles round candles i could put them in there as well so it kind of is like a little lamp but the island living island beach resort kind of version and i was really really happy that it turned out great and that you can put them in there and it looks really cool in game when they lit up so i was really happy that i could find this and yeah the interior design is actually pretty straightforward there's a kitchen there's a bathroom and two kind of hallway-ish rooms there inside where i just thought it makes like more sense to have like a little bit more decorated in the interior design and i also switched here between the orangey wicker wallpaper i think it's supposed to be out of wicker and the wooden paneling that is blue from the island living pack and uh, of course there are two different bathrooms or like ba toilets basically uh, with a sink of course and uh, I didn't use any doors that could you know restrict you from going inside because uh, I always hate that I also uh, like yeah they're basically unisex toilets guys <laughs> we are going to include everyone here and yeah basically i just thought up about how many colorful things i can put in there which have a blue base or an orange base and then i'm going to stick them in there which is basically over cluttering a lot but it has so much you know chispe i don't know like so much life in there it's just so it's just i love this restaurant i really want to visit this in real life i know i say this so many times in all of my videos like when i was like i really want to live in this house or i really want to go to that resort and you know stuff like this but yeah this is just maybe how proud i am of my own bills i'm really sorry i'm not like this is the best build because some people have uh, been arguing with me like that I think that I'm the best builder in the world or something like this which is just ridiculous because I know some of the really really good builders really happy that I could finally meet them at EA Play definitely not thinking that but you know when you spend some hours on a build you of course get really proud of it you know and it's the same I guess with me so sometimes I kind of yeah, it's just, I wouldn't post this on YouTube if I wouldn't be happy about how it turned out or I wouldn't share it with you guys because I would think it's just not good enough. But this one is like a really cute kind of whimsical restaurant which also fits the tropical theme, which fits Sulani. It has this deck, you know, it has all the check marks and plus uh, the interior design that I wanted to go with. So uh, feel free to test this. I have tested this, it's all working fine. Um, sometimes the sims, uh, like the waiters will have a lot of walking sometimes because of the huge deck. But yeah, look at this. It's so beautiful and I really hope that you like it too. It kind of looks very quirky out of like a Miyazaki anime kind of, you know, Japanese cartoon 
kind of reminds me of that as well out of a cartoon somehow but yeah i really love it it looks so so magical whimsical colorful very hippie and self-made and kind of self-built somehow and has lots and lots of colors and if you want to have this too into your game then follow the link in the video description it goes to the gallery because it's also up on the gallery of course and there you can download this for free put it into your game do whatever you want with it uh, which all which as always with all of my builds guys you can just put it to your game and check it out and use it and do whatever change it i don't care it's for you to see what you want to do with that and yeah this is basically the whole build guys i really really hope that you like this uh, i also want to thank you so so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you are into sims 4 builds and stuff like this and hit the notification bell and like the video blah 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 we all know what the youtubers have to say at the end <laughs> just kind of boring i'm sorry but yeah thank you so so much for watching please leave your suggestions and requests in the comments down below and i will see you soon bye bye